Nothing beats the Friday night lights, especially when it was about 20 degrees cooler than it was for the opening weekend. We begin our trip across the Tri-State tonight with a trip down to Alton, Illinois. That's where the Quincy High Blue Devils made their first road trip of the season. QHS looking to show they're the real deal and build off that opening week victory against Quincy Notre Dame. Here they are, goal line stance. They give it to who other than Jarius Rice jumping over the goal line to find the end zone for six. He wouldn't stop there. He had a big night offensively for the Blue Devils. Watch this play. They give it to him once more, weaving through the defense. Nobody's going to touch him until it's too late. He rumbles his way in for the score. Quincy High would keep firing on all cylinders. Offense on full display. Your final after four in on Quincy wins 40 to six. Sticking in the IHSA ranks, WGM Steve Luden was all over Camp Point this evening covering the Panthers. How's it look out there tonight, Steve? Well, I tell you what, the difference in Central's football program when I was here 20 years ago and now is remarkable. So tonight I was excited to see how great coaching and dedicated community and hardworking players are now among the state's elite. The Panthers were hosting Cal. to this sweet victory march first play from scrimmage for Calhoun after Mr. Crooks gets done singing right there uh, first play from scrimmage right here Miles Lorton avoids some tackles and he takes off and goes 72 yards now this play was called back by penalty but they did score just a couple of plays later and Calhoun jumped out to the lead a few minutes later Central answered Connor Griffin 28 yards coming right at you. The Panthers down one, seven to six. Now it was 14 to six, Calhoun, when Central turned up the heat. Drew Pabin, nine yards. After a two-point conversion, the game was tied 14-14. The Panther defense turned it up big. Here on the score right there for uh, Central. Then a, a few plays later, uh, here is Calhoun on a kickoff return. They'd been dangerous the entire game on kickoff returns, but not here. Elijah Ginnenbacher with the throwdown. And I've got one more play for you, and it's a dandy. Nick Moore, the throw. Connor Griffin with the juggling catch, 49 yards for the touchdown. And it is the Panthers going on. It was 30 to 22 at the half, and that's how the game ended. Central winning 30 to 22. Brennan, I'll send it over back to you. Thanks, Steve. Up in Winchester, Western was playing host to the Brown County Hornets. Let's get right into the action. Starting with Brown County, they're coming out here looking to get that road win against West Central. Maverick Henry would get things going offensively for the Hornets. Off the pitch, gets the outside edge. Nobody's going to get them all the way across the pylon for the touchdown. Next play. We'll have West Central fumbling 10 yards from scoring and Maverick recovering it at the two-yard line. Let's fast forward a little bit. It's West Central's Connor Turner. He's on defense, but he comes away with a big-time interception, gathering that momentum for them as he secures a Cougar first down in the process. Following that interception, West Central looking to build off it, give the ball to Mason Berry. He takes it all the way, securing that Cougar touchdown. When it's all set and done, Brown County would fall on this one 30 to 20 to West Central. Let's take a look at some other Illinois scores. QND falling on the road to Richmond Burton, 25 to 6. Macomb just barely losing to Knoxville, 48 to 30. Illini West picking up their first win of the season over Elmwood, 34-14. Big shout out to the coach for his first win of the season. West Prairie Southeastern taking down Bushnell Prairie City, 32 to 14. Rushville falling to United, 22-34. And Pittsfield falling to Olympia, 35-14. Let's head over to Beardstown. They take down Pleasant Hill, 34-14. And Greenfield Northwest zooming by Unity, 42-7. Across the river.